What's happening guys? Welcome back to the BSG Automotive channel. Today we're going to show you how to change your front differential fluid on your 2011 and newer Jeep Grand Cherokee. What's nice about these is that there's actual fill plug and a drain plug, so the process is very easy. It takes about one quart of the Mopar 75W85 fluid and it should be done every 60,000 miles. Let's get to it. All right, here we go, front differential fluid service. Now the very first thing you wanna do is make sure that you chalk your wheels, make sure your vehicle's in park, maybe set the parking brake, uh, so you're nice and safe while you're underneath here draining these fluids out. You don't want the vehicle rolling away on you. Once you get that all set, we're safe and secure. We can get underneath the vehicle here, get your drain pan ready. And right here in the front differential, like I said, there's both a fill plug and a drain plug. So it makes it super, super easy to maintain the fluid in these. Uh, this top plug for the fill is a little bit hard to get to in a 3.6 liter uh, Pentastar engine because the pan's right here. But these plugs come right out. So you can use a standard Allen wrench like this, eight millimeter. And we can go ahead and we're going to break torque on the uh, fill plug first. Now, once you break torque on it, it should basically spin right off of there. Get loose. You should be able to spin it. This seems to be a little bit of a pain, but it's obviously not binding. Let's see if you can use a ball end here. You really can't get a regular. Uh, hex socket in here so we're going to pull that off to the side like so we're going to clean it up and then we're going to proceed to drain it make sure your drain pan is ready uh may shoot out a little bit now of course it's best to change this fluid while the front differential is nice and warm like during the summer or something like that uh much more will come out but like i said if you're changing this fluid every sixty thousand miles or so uh, really as long as you do a, a decent fluid change on here at 60,000 miles and keep consistent, uh, you're still not going to have any issues. You don't need to get every little last drop out of the old fluid. There it goes. So you can see this one doesn't look too bad. You got to remember the front differential is not working at all times, uh, but it does have issues with uh, the grit in there causing abrasions and then uh, being, you know, turning into an abrasive. And then um, of course you get water ingestion and and just basic breakdown of the fluid. So let's let it drain out for a little bit. It's a pretty thin fluid. All right, then once you get to a, a thin stream like this or inconsistent drip, that's plenty. Again, we're changing every 60,000 miles and it's not always working up here. Now your drain plug going back in, you should put a little bit of the thread sealant on there. I'll link to it down below. You don't wanna rely just on the O-ring on here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cap off the drain port on here, spin it in by hand so we know we're not cross-threading. Okay, and then we could take our same Allen key and just tighten it up on there. Now the torque spec on these is like, I think 26 foot-pounds, uh, but if you don't have a torque wrench, you can simply take a regular Allen like this and grab it from up here instead of down here. That'll reduce the amount of leverage you have so you don't over tighten it. Remember, it's just a drain plug. You don't want to crack the case in there. So snug that up, it's good to go. And then we could proceed to start filling it. Now the fluid it takes, like I said, is a 75W85 fluid from Mopar, and it's very expensive. Uh, so we're lucky these only take about a quart. Um, so what's nice is that you can go and buy a quart size bottle filler like this, a pump, and I'll link to this down below too, because this, this one actually works, um, and just pump it right back into there. So no real special tools are required. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the hose that comes with it right inside of there you know pretty deep inside of there and then we're just gonna start pumping it into there this fluid's pretty thin that's only like a quart you're putting into there so you just have to deal with it and pump 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 till it's done we're gonna pump it until it starts just flowing out of there and once that is achieved uh, we'll let it level off and then we'll cap it off 
Let's go ahead and start pumping it into there. And we'll get that fresh fluid going in there. Look at that. Right there at one quart, it's starting to come out. Pull your hose out of there without making a mess. And there you have it. Let's let it kind of drain out and level out while we're getting our plug cleaned up and ready. And then once it gets to the point where it's a thin stream like this or inconsistent drip, uh, we can go ahead and put our fill plug back in. Same thing, you want to go ahead and make sure you have thread sealant on there. And then this one's a little trickier. But you still want to get up in here and thread her by hand. Same thing as the drain plug. We're literally just going to snug it up. Do not over tighten. It's a little difficult to get in here. Nothing too bad. Right there. It's hitting on the pan. Get it snugged. Come back here a little bit. And tighten it. There we go. Wipe off the excess on here. And if you so desire, we can spray a little brake clean on there. Just to make it clean. And there you have it. I mean, you can see it only took one quart of fluid. It took maybe, what, five, 10, 15 minutes. Super easy. And it's gonna make the front differential last so much longer. If you maintain the fluid in one of these, they could easily outlast the rest of the vehicle. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.